Hey guys, the Love Live Nestle Berry game came out yesterday. Puchiguru Love Live. And this is just a quick video to teach you how to play since it's all in Japanese. So maybe you need some help navigating through the tutorial or the menus. So that's pretty much what this will cover. It's a rather simplistic game, so I don't expect it to be too hard for you to understand. So that's just the terms of service. You got to press that button to accept it. So when you open the game, you'll be greeted with the tutorial. So let's just quickly go over it, so you can get into the actual game. Now for those who don't want to do the tutorial, you can actually skip it. And to do that, you want to press the pause button up here, and then this button on the bottom left, and then you want to press yes, and then that will skip the tutorial, but I'll just go over it, in case you do want to learn how to play. So. First things first, you just tap girls that are next to each other um, in two or more. So all the girls here are matched up with one another. So you can just tap them all. And then the next part here explains that the more of the same girl that are connected to one another, the more points you get. So you want to maximize the amount of girls that connect before you actually tap them to eliminate them, so... There's also this shuffle button on the bottom right, which you can tap, and it'll jiggle the board around, and then hopefully it might make it easier to, you know, have girls next to each other. So here, you can jiggle it. Maybe it'll improve the board state. And also, in order to progress through this part of the tutorial, you have to connect 11 of the same girl. So what I'll do is I'll try to connect all the chicas together and I'll do that by getting rid of the yos and then the dayas and I guess the maris too and that should do it so once more than 11 or 11 or more get connected the, the outline will turn blue and then the more as you can see in this bar here so then the more that are connected, the outline changes color. So then at 16, it gets yellow. At 21, it gets red. And then at 26, it becomes rainbow. And by doing so, it'll... When you eliminate them, create this star. And what the star does is it's a bomb that kind of blows up everything in the proximity. And then you'll get, like, points for that. So it's very similar in game play as Doom Doom, if you played that game before. And then there's one last thing to note is that there's a show bar, or like the showtime bar. And what the showtime bar does is it'll fill up as you connect Nessos. So I'm just gonna try to fill it up as fast as possible. And then once you've achieved showtime, then you'll get like a score multiplier three times for about 10 seconds. So that's when you kind of just want to smash the board as fast as possible to get as much points to take advantage of the showtime. And then that's pretty much it. So you, you what, what kind of what you, what you want to do is connect a whole bunch of Nessos together, generate these stars, and then pop these stars to get a whole bunch of points. That's pretty much the gameplay. And then once you've done that, it'll ask you for your name, so then just type it. And then it'll do like the free tutorial scout in the gacha machine. And you can only get the the base outfits from this, I think. To get the special outfits, you have to use the the special um like the magic stones. The in-game currency pretty much. And there's a few things to note about um this stats screen. So each Nestle has its own skill and it's kind of passive ability. The skill is the top one, the one in the red text. And it varies between um, characters, so yeah, different characters have different skills, and different outfits of the same character also have different skills. And then the blue on the bottom is their passive. The passive has a chance of activating, as well as the efficiency. So this particular passive is has a 5% chance of activating once the condition at the top is met and it, when it does activate it has like an efficiency of a hundred percent 
so I'm not really going to go over the skills too much. Like, that's perhaps for another time. This is just a quick rundown of the game mechanics. So, the second button here goes to team formation, and a team is composed of three Nessos. You can kind of drag them to the area to swap out members, just as I've done here, and only the center card gets access to the skill. And we'll talk about the skill when we actually jump into an actual kind of game. So now that we've done all that, you can finally access your login bonus, and for celebrating the game's release, you get 3,500 stones. That's enough for seven gotcha pulls. There isn't like a 10 plus one in this game. You can only do single pulls, so people who enjoy solo YOLOs rejoice. And then you also get this like heart, and the hearts are kind of like the stamina system. You spend one heart to, to play a song, and I'm not really sure how long it takes to regenerate hearts, because I haven't really reached the point where I, I've needed to regenerate hearts. So maybe it's like five minutes or something like that, I, I'm not really sure. So if you want to play, there's this tutorial map you have to clear, there's like five stages. I'm only going to show off the first one, because again, I really want to keep this tutorial video really short. So you spend one heart to play the song. And I'll pretty much explain a few things that I missed during that tutorial segment. So these stages are timed. The tutorial had unlimited time, so I think generally stages have 60 seconds to, to play through. And then this is just kind of explaining um, stuff we've already talked about. Any kind of passive skills that activate will show up on the bottom here. Things like score ups or increase your skill meter are just based on which Nessos you pick. And then once you connect Nessos, they'll fill your score meter if you, like, match the particular Nesso of your center girl. Once you match enough of that, then your skill meter will fill, and then you'll be able to use the skill. So I'm going to try to show that off right now. Try to match off these Yoshikos to try to fill up my skill meter. One thing to note is that when you activate a skill, the timer stops, so you don't have to worry about that. So now that the skill is activated, or like you have enough to activate the skill, you can tap the button here, and then it'll do something. So it turns the Yoshikos into little demons. I'm not really sure what that does, I think it just... It acts as like a standalone that you can kind of just like tap. There's a lot of things I'm not really too sure about for this game, because I'm not really too sure about the mechanics. But it, I guess it's kind of fun to figure them out for yourself, even if you don't know Japanese. I mean, I can just read them, but I think it's more fun to try to figure it out yourself. Well, from what I see, it I don't think it just turns Yoshikos into little demons. I think it turns, like... Random Nessos on the screen with the little demons, and then you can match them with Yoshikos. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the gameplay. So each of these maps, or like songs, whatever you want to call them, will have individual missions. Like the mission for this song was to use your skill once. And uh, you can see I used my skill twice, so I definitely fulfilled the requirement for that mission. So then we got the gold star for that, and the gold stars are important because they allow you to access more content in the game. There's also like a friend system, but I don't think we can actually show it off. Oh, well, actually we can, so you can borrow a friend um, before playing a song, and I think you get access to their passive skill. And then at the end, you can kind of follow them, and then it's like adding a friend in School Idol Festival or something like that. So again, these the gold stars that you get for completing missions are important because they allow you to access other content. So it, it doesn't really say here, but you need 10 stars to actually access the event in this game. But the event isn't out yet. That's why it says coming soon. And then to get 50 stars, will let you access another game mode called Score Attack. 
I haven't tried that yet, but I would just assume it's try to get a high score as high as possible and then compare them with your friends. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do I did want to keep this tutorial short. You can access your present box up here and then accept. And then you can, like, do your gacha pulls. Try to get something good. Try to get your best girl. You can do seven based on the, the 3,500 that you get. And you'll get more just by playing the game. So, you know, just have fun with it. It's not a, a too complex of a game. It's just mindless, good old-fashioned fun. The more you play with particular Nessos on your team, you'll get more experience, and then you'll level them up. So if you were wondering what that level 1 and that experience bar was, that's pretty much what it is. And I think I covered everything that you really need to know. You can also kind of like increase the level by using these candies. Like rare candies in Pokemon, I guess. They, they provide experience. You get them through various means, like login bonuses and whatnot. Yeah, but I think I think that's it. If you do have any questions, um do feel free to leave it in the comments. It's not too complex of a game, so hopefully just because it's in Japanese doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Uh, there is this one more thing. I guess I do want to mention. The screen here just kind of follows and people you want to block, which I'm not really sure why you would want to block them. I'm not even sure if you can like send like messages in game, but... Oh, and this button here is something to do with Twitter. If any of you follow people who play this game on Twitter, you can access some goodies. So you can get like a hundred stones for following someone on Twitter, or like following your own account on Twitter, I'm not really sure. Or like tweeting. Try it out. Last thing is the menu on the top left. Has a whole bunch of options. There's like a ticket exchange. I'm not really sure what this does. There's also like a way to generate a transfer code, and that's this button right here. That's just a warning that says if you're transferring between devices, you'll lose all your paid currency. And then uh, it'll generate like your transfer code. And you also have to enter a password. So, you know, just a 8 to 32 length password alphanumeric. You can steal this account if you want. I don't really care. Anyway, that's it. Hopefully this was useful. I'll answer any questions you might have. And I'll see you guys next time.